what's going on everybody sports over here bringing you another cool action figure toy review today we have NECA's Diablo 3 Lord of Terror Diablo wow this thing is just so impressive to look at even in its plastic coffin so check it out you got 25 points of articulation and also reads here ages 17 and up so use discretion flip the back here look at this awesome box art wow that is impressive right so here is a quick read for you. If you'd like to go ahead and read that, pause it. And anyway, let's get it opened up and have a closer look. And here he is out of his packaging. Look at this thing. Wow, I'm just like lost for words right now. It's just crazy. The amount of detail and everything that they put into this thing. It's just amazing. Look at this. So check it out. So you got this tail that you have to put on, which is plugs right into the back here. So piece of cake. And then he also comes with a little stand. He doesn't really need it because he stands quite well. And they did a fabulous job with these all these joints here in the legs. So he does stand up quite well by himself. And, of course, he can lean on the tail. So you got this basic little stand, which is a plus. So thank you, NECA, for including the stand. And, wow, again, look, here, I'll show you the tail. I just can't get over this guy. There's just so much going on. So see that? Plugs right in. Got a little hole right there. So it is fitted. Just shove this right in here, and it kind of just sits in there nice and tight. And don't worry, all these spikes are kind of soft, rubbery plastic, so you're really not going to hurt yourself, but I would definitely handle this with kids' gloves because there is a lot going on with it. Tons of ball joints and moving parts and everything. It's just amazing. So he's 11 and a half inches tall, about 11 inches across here, so he's going to take up a nice chunk of shelf space. But that's all right, man. you got to make room for something like this. It's just so impressive. The amount of detail... Oh man, this guy is wicked. So let's go over some of the finer detail points of this guy. So there's an up close shot of his face, which is just all kinds of awesome. Look at all the spikes, the amazing paint detail that went into this guy. Oh man, this is so crazy. Wow, all the way through the chest here. This is just fabulous. Wow, I, I am just so impressed. Look at all the texture and the detail they put in here. Spikes back here. Right here on the calves is amazing. All the way through here, some more spikes. Wow, this is crazy. I can't get over this thing. So on the back here, we'll give you a close-up of the back. Check this out. Look at all the detail they put into these giant spikes coming out of his back. Wow, just simply awesome. Can't get over this. This is like one of my new favorite NECA toys of my collection. And there's the end of the tail. Look at this. Just wow. <laughs> I know, it's still like a broken record, but... Come on, man. You know, what implies, what do you expect from NECA? Look at this thing. Simply fabulous. So for articulation, he has tons and tons of articulation. There's lots of moving parts here. So there's a lot of posability that can happen with this. So we'll start with the mouth here. So you can open and close the mouth. Give you an up close shot of that. Look at this. And that opens up like way far. Wow, that's cool. And of course, his head can spin all over the place like a little mini ball joint in there. So that's a win. And then over here, he's got these shoulder pieces, which are like little mouths themselves and they're on little ball joints so you can kind of pose them all over the place and then right here in his chest or upper torso lower torso here you got a little ball joint in there so you can pivot and spin and rotate that and then here in the shoulders of course you got standard articulation here in the shoulders up and down a nice spin and then here at the elbow you got a nice moving joint there the hands can move back and forth and the hands are soft too so you don't have to worry about damaging or breaking those and then he's got extra arms, so a total of four arms. And back here, the arms right here are on little ball joints, so you can spin them around pretty good. It's about as far as far back as they go. And then, of course, elbow joints there, nothing at the wrist. And then down here at the hips, you got your standard ball joints in the hips, so there's a lot of movement there. So you can kind of have them doing a kick or kick them out or whatever. And then down here, a knee joint and a spin. And you have this, like, lower shin upper shin thing i don't know what you would call that but that's kind of cool so that's got a back and forth movement no rotation and then down here at the feet you got the little joint in there so you can move that up and down and kind of spin that and rotate that as, as well if, if you'd like another cool feature is this tail look at this huh very awesome so inside this tail is a little piece of metal it's like a little wire in there so you can pose this and it'll actually hold a pose so that's a complete win man Wow, I'm just very impressed. And for a quick size comparison, here he is with NECA's 12-inch head-to-tail Godzilla. This is very cool, so you can see the, the size of this Diablo figure. It's just so impressive. Man, this is a complete win. So there you have it, everybody. NECA's Diablo 3 Diablo video game action figure. Look at this guy, right? You know you want this guy in your collection. It's just so awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. 
We'll see you again real soon.